afternoon guys good afternoon starting the vlog off again in central london starting the vlog off on the stairs escalators um today i'm out in central mambu we're going to be basically shopping for warm winter clothing um for him i have a few new jumpers so i'm all good i could do with like a big russian looking kind of hat i used to have one before i had one years ago so if i can get one of those that would be amazing but otherwise i'm just here for the ride um so yeah that's today we're gonna be around central london and just shopping about there's a really cool black owned shop that we're gonna go to and i'm really excited to try well to go there for the first time my boo's been there a few times and got some bits in the summertime but i haven't been there so we're gonna check out a cute um black owned business and just enjoy a day out in central my boo's off work so it's the best time because we get to spend loads of time together doing things that i love <laughs> okay with passcode is it every day here we go so we've come into june and i am looking for some proper winter shoes wash my hands that was sanitizer but um yeah these i'm looking at these ones i really like this so this is 160 pounds but they look really nice and they're also lightweight and they look like they are water resistant because of the leather um i really like those and then let me also show you some other pair that i like another pair that i like David Wedge. Wait, what's this place? Black owned business. Black owned business. Nigerian too. Alright, let's go. This is where he's been before. I haven't even asked him if I can film one sec. Let me go and ask. So we are currently in at David Wedge. I'm actually downstairs in the changing rooms with my ball this place is really cool it's a nigerian owned black store just off oxford surface um and who's been here you guys are always on great portland street on <coughs> great <laughs> it's on great portland Precise. street you guys often compliment these two pieces and some of them he's actually got from this place here it's really colorful super colorful in here um so if your man's like some colorful clothing and whatever this could be a shout yeah i'm just sitting here waiting what a view. <laughs> what a view. So Boo has picked some pieces. He's picked like this really nice mustard piece and also a brown piece, but um, he just needs to get them resized. The trousers are a little bit too long. And the cool thing is that David Wedge even have tailors upstairs. Guys, <laughs> I have no affiliation with this company. I just think it's really dope. Like, also love the fact that it's black owned. Um, let's go and show you with his trousers getting pinned. Oh! That's it. I told you it's buff, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is this for men? It's men's. Is it I men's? Yeah. I'm thinking it's like a woman's. But I, I thought it was a woman. I, yeah. I, I it. thought it was I a woman. I even yeah. want to try on the purple one. Oh, yeah. no. I need this in a smaller size. Does it come smaller? 
there is a 40, uh, 36, so what size is that one? Oh, wow. Just oh, check. I did not expect that. <laughs> I did not expect that. This is, and I've been looking for a smart jacket. Okay, let's This is like the perfect smart jacket. It's nice, I like the green it's one. It's nice, isn't it? The green's, yeah. the green's fire. Pops. Okay, so there is a size. Babe, look, the purple gives me pimp vibes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, come see, I'm not sure about that one. Okay. The green is perfect, though, isn't it? Yeah, this one I spotted as well. I was lovely. You don't oh. Know. <laughs> it's too pimpy. Yeah, it's heavy on the pimp. Yeah, but it's nice. It's heavy on the pimp. It's cool. I love it's the, 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 the green. Mm -hmm. The green's lovely. That green is too dark for Babe, what are you talking about? This jacket is hot. Babe, it's a bit too hard. It's just, it's just a bit <laughs> too hard. How about this? Try this. This is more like gents appropriate. <laughs> Does this look like a woman's jacket? That looks like a woman's jacket to me. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Get on with that. Oh, no, no, we need the fur. Oh, okay. <laughs> we need it. I like the fur, yeah. We need the fur. This is wavy. That fits you. That's perfect. How much is it? How much is it? Um, but is it obviously a male's jacket? No. No. I like that one. I think it's that okay. purple one looks like a woman's jacket. The style's a bit oversized now, anyway, for everything. Yeah. And that one fits you really well. I love it. One, two, three, four. I think you could dress one, it up. One, two, nine. Yeah. One, two, nine. I think that's quite nice. It just needs chip of the shoulder. A little bit. Right? What? As in a little bit this to... Would you resize it? As in the tailor can do it for you. He'll just chip the yeah, shoulder. So it just... Shoulder. And then it comes up a bit more. So you're not... Oh, my okay. Yeah. So well, we can do that, right? Yeah, you can do that for you. Yeah. So that it fits a lot more. Mm. Yeah, so when you guys come, we can do that for each Oh, I think I'm sold. I'm too easily sold. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs>I've never heard of that song. No, but you were born 92. So 92 is kind of young. Right, like 96 though, the early 90s. I remember but because she's... Ashley in Fresh Prince was completely obsessed with Tevin Campbell. Oh, really? And I don't know when Fresh Prince came out, but it was when I was a child. <laughs> Long. Um, babe, please, we need your card. Oh, we're waiting to film so that I can pay. <laughs> I thought you were filming independently. I was, I was going to say, um, yes, we've got the jacket. Prince. So I basically got the green jacket and um, we're going to get it tailored. There's a tailor somewhere in Ilford tomorrow. And funnily enough, I've got an appointment with Inga, so... I'm gonna go and get my jacket retailed so that if it's better. It's because it's actually a men's jacket, um, but I think it's wavy and I need a jacket for winter. You guys know I've got the casual one and now it's time to get like a more, this is more like smart, isn't it? Like yeah. a smart look. And it's super wavy, but it's super inspired by the main character in Harlem, if you guys haven't watched it. It's but, not inspired by the main character. Oh, you yeah, buying it. Yeah, me inspired. buying it, yeah, because of her really sick style. She's yes. got a really sick sense of style. So, so yeah, problem. subtract the money from the account. So these are the suit jackets. My babes got this one. I don't know if you guys remember, but he bought one like this for Egypt red carpet. But I love this one. I love this one. It's got hearts in it. This whole place has just got really cool styles, super sick styles. I'm not sure about that, that black one. <laughs> but these ones are really great. And then they've got more pieces on this side here. Two pieces. They have the best, the waviest two pieces, in fact. Um, my boo tried on this one. I really like this one. This looks really good on. And then I also really like this one. This one that's got Lagos written all over it. It's in black as well and white as well. And there was also a puffer jacket. Look at this. I love this store. It's menswear, but they literally have such nice things. And it's black owned as well. So you have to support. Next stop, I am in boots. I am actually looking for face wash. I normally use a little Garnier face wash because I've seen it a million and one times for my brushes and stuff. But I can't find it. I'm literally standing in the wrong place. I come to where I normally <laughs> come to every time to pick up this. Literally a habit. Um, but yeah, let's go and find this face wash. Second boots and I can't find the Missile Gel wash that I'm looking for. We can't find it. Um, but whilst we're here, I've also decided that I want, I know what I want us to have for dinner. I really wanted us to have ramen, but I don't want to be spending money, guys. I've been spending money like 
like nothing like literally I'm saying that seeing as I've just bought the boots I bought both of the boots that I wanted from June the wellies and then I went and got the black ones that were so nice so so nice so um I'm feeling a bit guilty about spending money so I don't really want to go out for dinner well I do want to go out for dinner but I don't want to go out for dinner and spend more money so I'm going to just make ramen instead it's going to be the first time ever making ramen we're going to go back to Boo's place instead and we can make ramen I found this recipe and one of the top comments is that I really enjoyed making this authentic ramen copied everything she did and I ate for three days I thought I was back in Japan that comment sold me so um, I want to try and find one more I don't, I don't know probably going to savers or super drug and try and find this wash because i really need to wash my face brushes and my mm, i need to get new beauty blenders as well actually i can see them there um and then we can go and find some ingredients for this ramen i hate when my lip balm does that when it gathers to the side it's not cute these are 10 pounds for two of them i'll take that out oh, security protected okay let me get someone else to help me with this up some ingredients it's really hard for me to try to figure out what I need because the recipes that I want to use the recipe that I want is like a quick recipe but um, it's not the actual traditional one um, I love kimchi $3.99 I feel like I'm gonna spend a lot of money here like this is the kind of place I spend loads of money because I actually love Korean Japanese food we've got these here fresh ramen noodles I'm not sure about the colour of it though. So I've just come back from the Oriental store. It's like Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, it's a whole bunch of London. I'm honestly so excited to go home and make this um, ramen dish. I basically spent about £25. Um, I'll show you all the bits that I got. Well, at least some of the bits that I got. I spent £25 and I feel like this will make us more than two meals. And the funny thing is that when we normally order ramen, it probably costs us around £40, £45 for each time we order. So if this goes well, I might be onto something. Okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging because all these sirens is winding me up. We've got a box from his workplace. I guess we can uh, get cracking. Organic sparkling Chardonnay. Everything's organic. Is it? Even the popcorn? Handcrafted gourmet popcorn. What's this? Merry Christmas. Small ethically conscious businesses across the UK. That's what everything is. Really, if it was black owned, it'd be better. But um, definitely sauce is also good. Mm. Hmm. Crisps. Luxurious crisps. That looks good. Maybe chili flavor. Looks good. Some thin salt, some chocolate milk. This chicken stock. He's getting the pork fat so that we can use this in the recipe. I'm gonna have the recipe linked below. Ramen is literally one of my favorite dishes. So if we can figure out a way to make this at home, that will be the biggest steal of 2021. Um, it's currently following the recipe, but we're just doing it like literally bit at a time because I, want, I don't want to get it wrong and this should be quite easy a standard ramen should take like days to cook or like at least hours to cook but the recipe that i've gone for is like under 30 minutes you guys literally know if it's under 30 minutes i'm interested i'm in only thing i'm worried about is how to make the egg because the egg for the ramen i think that's a bit that really makes it but i have no idea how to perfectly boil an egg literally no idea 
Wait, no, not to the ramen standard. Like the ramen standard, the egg yolk has to be a little bit runny, but not too runny, just perfect. Right now, uh, we're just about to make the stock for the ramen itself. I'll bring you guys in when it's all done. I don't want to like long out the process, but what I will do is that I will link the recipe that I have used. Hopefully, if it's good, you guys can also use it. If it's not good, you didn't hear this from me at all. But um, yeah, let's get to it. And then once it's all done, we shall give you guys a review. <laughs> So this is the final dish. This is tonkotsu ramen. It looks so good, but I haven't tasted it yet. The broth looks really, really good. Um, just currently waiting for some eggs to boil. This looks so good. I can't believe I made this by myself. Well, thanks to Boo for helping me make it, but this looks so yummy. Let's give it a taste test. All it needs is a little bit of chili oil, but this is delicious. That is genuinely surprisingly very good, babe. Wow, it's not me making my own ramen from scratch. That's good, that's really good. All I need to add is this chili to make it spicy and I can definitely do that. I should have put a chili hot bonnet in it. Chili hot bonnet? Mm -hmm. A scotch bonnet? Mm-hmm. never heard it with a chili hot bonnet. Mm -hmm. And even the pork as well. I haven't tried the pork. It's nice. Nice? This egg is still soft. Yeah, the egg. But it's not as soft. I'm gonna stop the egg. I think this is right. Big mess up. It's it? buff. The egg, absolutely. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's scary to me. Every time I've looked at the eggs, that's disgusting. I think we'll just have to forgive the lighting in here. It's not the best. But this is the first pair of boots that I bought from June. I love these. These were the ones that were a bit more pricey at 140, but they fit so well it's such a well designed shoe i think this is going to see me through the winter really well um you guys get to see it properly like when i'm wearing it but i really liked it for the fact that it actually fit around my calf and i have um thicker thighs than usual or thicker calves so yeah i was really happy with this it's a really nice boot a really big proper shoe it's i'm guessing probably fake leather um i don't know if it's real leather who knows? Oh, actually, I think it's real leather. I think the sign probably means that. I like that they're really lightweight. That's what I really like about them. So I've got these ones as well. Uh, the second pair which I bought, which is the wellies, the green wellies. The lighting here is just not doing it at all, but these are so cute. You guys will get to see them soon. Um, yeah, those are the bits that I picked up as well as just some beauty blenders. I didn't manage to get the face wash that I was actually looking for. But all is good. I actually had also ordered some boots. I have really been looking for boots, guys. So these came earlier on today when we were out. Let me show you them. This is what the misguided shoe looks like. Guys, the lighting here is really not the best. But I am so glad that I bought my ones. I think I'm going to take this back. This looked, looked nice on the website. It's got this kind of sheepy faux faux skin at the top here um and it's chunky but they're really not as cute as i thought they would be and i think these were around 40 50 pounds so as you can see i think the the, the nicer shoe from dune is actually worth it this looks really big size five it looks so long at the front i've got normally quite small feet but yeah i'm so happy that i bought these ones because i'm probably gonna just take these back this is not really giving me anything at all actually so i'm gonna send these back and keep the brand new pairs that i bought very happy with that i'm glad that that came today actually after buying these other ones good evening guys well good evening um i'm just checking in just to close the vlog i literally fell asleep on the sofa and i woke up and i'm like oh my god i haven't closed the vlog <laughs> Dinner was so buff. I would highly recommend that recipe. Yeah, I'm gonna have a link below for you guys to check out. And 
yeah i don't really know what else to say besides that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog i know it's a bit of a short one today but i just wanted to show you guys what i got up to i've got a bunch of things planned for tomorrow i've got a full day of errands tomorrow so i'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys for now i'm gonna call it a night and i shall have to see you guys in my next video which will be tomorrow because we go again because it's vlogmas guys have a good night and i shall see you tomorrow night